unreliable classic cars we can't help but want. Alfa Romeo GTV6 The Alfa Romeo GTV6 still looks beautiful after all these years, but it's also sneaky. It tries to lull you into thinking it's a sensible hatchback that has a little more space than your typical exotic and could maybe be a little bit practical. Is it? Not at all. Every time you drive it, you may as well be rolling the dice to see if you are going to make it without a breakdown. But what's life without a little adventure? From Road and Track Aston Martin Lagonda Most people who see an Aston Martin Lagonda on the street are going to look past it and keep going about their day. But to someone who knows what a Lagonda is, it's a car worth getting excited about. As much as we'd love to be seen in one, can you imagine trying to get one serviced? Or having to find replacement parts for that crazy futuristic interior? Citroen SM Neither the French nor the Italians are known for building cars with bulletproof reliability, so clearly the solution was for them to conspire together to build a car. The result was the undeniably wonderful Citroen SM. Yes, certain parts may as well be ticking time bombs, but who cares? The SM is awesome. Ferrari 308 GTB slash GTS The Ferrari 308 looks incredible and it's actually a car a normal enthusiast could conceivably own one day. For a little less than the cost of a base Porsche 911, we could have an exotic Ferrari with a gated shifter. But even if nothing broke, we don't want to think about how much maintenance would be. And things are probably going to break. Jaguar XJS The XJS isn't nearly as desirable as the E-Type, but you do get a lot of bang for your buck. Even the V12 versions of these cars can be had for not a whole lot of money. For the first few months, you might look cool driving a V12 Jag, but after that. Lotus Ella We're pretty sure anyone who's ever driven a Lotus Ella has loved it. That opinion might not be based on the most scientific of surveys, but you can't pretend it's not a thrilling car to drive. You just have to be fine with never having a free weekend again after you buy yours. We say bring it on. Lamborghini Miura. It's old. It's Italian. It has a V12. It's one of the most beautiful cars ever built. Those are all perfectly legitimate reasons to want to own a Lamborghini Miura, and if we had the money, we'd absolutely go for it. We'd just have to make sure we were prepared for when it inevitably catches on fire. Land Rover Range Rover. Yes. There are plenty of SUVs we could probably buy that would still be cool. Heck, Land Rover will still gladly sell you a new Range Rover that's plenty cool. But the original Range Rover is about as cool as SUVs get, and that's the one we want. The list of things that will probably go wrong is pretty much endless, but who cares. It's a Range Rover. Triumph Spitfire. Look at how much fun those people are having. That's the kind of fun we want to have. We want to put the top down on our gorgeous convertible sports car and laugh as we enjoy each and every corner. Except you know that car is never more than 10 minutes away from something else going wrong. And maybe the wiring will catch on fire. Still worth it.